Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the unit circle and the 45, 45, 90 degree angles. So we have our circle here with our coordinate system. Let us locate the 45, 45, 90 degree angle. Let us use quadrant one. So let's say we have 45 degrees here. So we have triangle. Okay, that triangle. Notice that it will form 45, 45, 90. Is this 90? That will form an isosceles right triangle. So in isosceles right triangle, we have two base angles and they are equal. And of course, the two legs are also equal. So the measure of this leg is equal to the measure of the other leg. And we have the radius, R is equal to 1. Now, let us find the coordinate or the length of this part of our triangle. So to find that, let's say this is X. Since they are equal, also this is X. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have A squared plus B squared is equal to R squared or C squared. In this case, in our right triangle, our A is X. So we have X squared plus the other leg our B is also X is equal to R our R or C the hypotenuse is equal to 1 1 squared now we have X squared plus X squared that is 2 X squared is equal to 1 square that is 1 now divide by 2 we have X squared is equal to 1 half to remove the square, extract the square root. So we have x is equal to square root of 1 half. x is equal to square root of 1 over square root of 2. And that will give us x is equal to 1 over square root of 2. Now we need to remove the square root here. So we need to conjugate. So x is equal to 1 square root of 2 times square root of 2 over square root of 2. And that will give us square root of 2 over 2. Okay. This is square root of 2 over 2. That means the length of this is square root of 2 over 2. Okay. Now to get our coordinate of the 45 so that will give us square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2 x is square root of 2 over 2 and y is square root of 2 over 2 now to get the next 45 45 degree angle in our quadrant so we have 90, 90 plus 45, we have 135 degrees. This is square root of 2 over 2. So square root of 2 over 2. Notice that this is located in quadrant 2. So our sign is negative and positive square root of 2 over 2. So we have 180, 180 plus 45, 180 plus 45, that is 225. So 225. It is located in quadrant 3, so that is negative negative. So negative square root of 2 over 2, 
and negative square root of 2 over 2. So this is 270. Then 270 plus 45, that is 315 degrees. So quadrant 4, the sign is positive negative. So positive square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, we are now done in the 45-45 degree angles. And how are we going to use this or how are we going to apply? Let's say your task is find cosine negative, uh, cosine 135 degrees. Cosine 135 degrees. Cosine, so note, Sine indicates our y, cosine indicates our x, and tangent indicates y over x. So our coordinate is x, y. Cosine 135, locate 135. This is our x and our y. Cosine indicates our x. So that is negative square root of 2 over 2. Second, let's say we have sine... 315 degrees. So locate 315. Now, sine, sine is our y, x, y. So we have negative square root of 2 over 2. Third, find tangent 225 degrees. So tangent is y over x. 225 y over x so we have negative square root of 2 over 2 all over negative square root of 2 over 2 so fraction so copy the numerator negative square root of 2 over 2 times the reciprocal of the denominator negative 2 square root of 2 so cancel 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 that will give us negative times negative positive 1. And now let us verify our answer using your calculator. Now get your calculator and insert the following in your calculator to verify whether our answer is correct. So in decimal, square root of 2 over 2 is equal to 0 0.7071. So if you don't have calculator, you can download it in your App Store or Play Store. So cosine 135. Cosine 135. Okay. In my calculator, it says here negative 1 over square root of 2. This one. But, in our rule, we, if the given, or, but in our rule, in my calculator, we notice that negative 1 over square root of 2. In your grade 9 lesson, uh, it is not written in simplified form, so we need to conjugate. So that is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Next, sine 315. Okay, same. Next, tangent 2 to 5. Tangent 2 to 5, that is 1, which is 1. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.